peace, 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 peace. How y'all doing out there, man? How y'all doing out there, man? On my Terrence, How Terrence Howard hustle and flow tip. How y'all doing out there, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I want to talk about is, you know, this, this whole idea of African Americans being from or being native to America, right? And what I see taking place is a couple of things. One of those things is that some people are here just to mislead you. Some people are solely here just to give you misinformation and to throw you off the correct path, all right? Some people are here just to get money from you. They are here to tap your pockets. They can care less about you. They can care about, they can care less about what happened to you. All they want is your money. They are solely here just to get whatever they can from you. All right. Then you have people who are misguided and misled themselves. They have misinformation and they're going to give you the misinformation because they have been indoctrinated by a self-hating program, um, which is usually uh, these Western religions. These Western religions have a profound hate for Africa. Okay. And so, you know, you see that self-hating, um, you know, you see the self-hating and doctrine all through it, you know, if you study it and, 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 and study those who uphold that doctrine, if you really look, you will see that, all right? Um, it's a lot of self-hating, it's a lot of African hating. I mean, if you think about it, you know, uh, if you see how black women don't wear their natural hair right they don't wear their natural hair you can see a lot of brothers out here even conscious brothers um they put some in their hair to make it shiny and curly why because this is furthest away from african roots you know uh you know making your hair shiny and curly it doesn't do that natural naturally you put some in it to make it that way meaning you are manipulating the original texture of your hair to make it look something another way to make it look another way to be more appeasing to you or appeasing to others because you feel like this is the standard of, of beauty right um and so you know that's the first thing you have to take in consideration when you are looking at this whole concept of africans or african americans or what you call black people being native to this land you know, and I know that's a profound statement from a light skinned curly haired dude, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I have no control over how I was made and when I was made. You understand what I'm saying? I have no control over that. But what I can tell you is that I was raised in a um, in an African um, conscious environment. You know what I mean? Yes, um, yes, my, my, my mother was a uh, Christian, but she still was, had very much conscious consciousness of her roots and who she was and where she came from and not a bad perspective on what the world was and how it was ran. You understand what I'm saying? However, my father, yes, he is mixed. Um, and for a long, long parts of my life, I didn't understand who or what I was because I was different. I noticed that I was different from everybody around me until I actually met my father when I was around 20 something years old. And then I understand why I look the way I look because my father is mixed. You understand what I'm saying? So yes, on my father's side, I actually have an Italian grandmother, never met her before or anything like that. Um, but I have met uh, people on my father's side of the family and they all look like me. They are uh, light-skinned people. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, because my father and his brothers, they are, you know, they are what you would call mulattoes. You understand what I'm saying? They are mixed, you know, with, for the lack of better terms, black and white. Right? <clears throat> um... Yeah, for a large part of my life, I, I didn't acknowledge that. I just always seen myself as a black person because I didn't have any uh, glimpse of that side of my family, of that side of my bloodline. You know, all I knew and all I seen was my mother's side of the family, right? And so being grown, I'm able to acknowledge and admit that now. 
and it's fine it's cool you know uh it was only being you know uh starting to you know dibble and dabble with this conscious stuff is when people started to make comments about you know my skin color and, and me being mixed and stuff like that like when i was in the streets and when i was coming up nobody never called me mixed everybody always seen me as a black person but i find it really funny soon as i come around the smart people all of a sudden i'm not just black no more you know what i mean so that's 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 pretty funny but back back along with the with the story here is that or i mean with the build is that you know this is my perspective nobody wants to be from africa nobody wants to be on a losing team um, nobody wants to be on the losing team and I'm gonna try to make this quick. I'm, I, I don't really want to make this a long drawn out thing. Cause I got, I got stuff to do. Nobody wants to be from the losing team. When you look at African Americans, right? Nobody wants to be the slave. Nobody wants to be the, nobody wants to be the, um, nobody wants to be descendants of the slaves right nobody wants to be that because it doesn't sound that cool but you got to understand that when people go in slavery they don't sign up for it you know what i mean they don't sign up for it they they wasn't they wasn't um uh what do you call it they wasn't people who was idiots and didn't have any culture and didn't have any life no they was they was very educated well, you know, very um, kingly, um, God-like people that they enslaved. You understand what I'm saying? So it's not like you don't come from greatness just because your ancestors was enslaved. They was enslaved by brute force. Okay? They was enslaved by brute force. Just like everybody who's in the prison system today isn't just the scum of the earth. There are many Jews and people and, and great minds in the prison system, which is modern day slavery. But, you know, you don't just say everybody in the prison system is just worth nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Like, so that's the first thing that you have to take in consideration. The second thing that you have to take in consideration is that, yes, people from Africa was traveling all over the world. I mean, there is documentation that the ancient Egyptians or the Kemetians traveled to America. Okay. They, they, you know, they have the ships and things of that nature. They traveled to America. So Africans was traveling all over the place. So yes, it was Africans here, but just because it was Africans here doesn't mean that you are native to this land. It means that you came here from another place. Okay. You came here from another place and you settled here. You know, it was groups of people that came here and settled here and lived amongst here and traded and things of that nature. Right. Meaning that meaning that we mixed in, you know, groups of people mix in. All right. Uh, you have you have so-called blacks, Africans coming here, mixing in with what you would call Native Americans that's here. All right. Who pro who, who bloodline probably have some of this and some of that. You know who came from some other places and you know and came here right so you you mixing in with these groups of people that doesn't mean you know so this is this is i'm gonna I'm a cut to the chase all right i'm gonna just cut to the chase and and stop beating around the bush when you look at any country and any group of people when you look at the chinese when you go to china you see large groups of chinese in china when you go to India, you see large groups of Indian Indians, Indians in India. When you go to Germany, you see large groups of, of Germans in Germany. When you go to Europe, you see large groups of Europeans in Europe. You understand what I'm saying? When you go to Japan, you see large groups of Japanese in Japan, right? So if we was native in this land, they will there will be large groups of us here in this land for the simple fact that. So what I'm saying is that a group of people originate from a place. 
and they all are in that place. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Well, first of all, I know that it is an out of Africa theory, meaning that, you know, the first human beings migrated out of Africa and, and, and changed and evolved to the human beings that are here now. First of all, you got to understand that that's a theory. That's not actual fact. That's an educated guess, meaning that with all the evidence that they have uh, thus far, the best the best guess that they could come up with is that one. That doesn't mean that it's set and locked in stone. That's a theory. OK, that's a that's a theory. That's an educated guess. All right. So there there is no actual proof that all races you know, actually come from the African race. That's that's a theory. I'm not saying that it's, it's right or wrong. I'm just saying that it's a theory. So what I'm saying is when I look at groups of people all over the world, I can see that those groups of people come from a certain place. Chinese come from China. Um, 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 Europeans come from Europe. You know, Japanese come from Japan, you know, or wherever else. You can see that these group of people come from a certain place. When you look at here in America, if we was here, if we was from this place and we populated this land, there will be large amounts and large groups of us still here. You know what I mean? It's, it, it, it will be, we will be still, we will be still here. And when you look at the Africans in Africa and you look at the African-Americans here, there is no difference. There is no difference. OK, there is no difference. Now, I can see if people were saying that they actually came from South America. OK, because South America is closer to the equator. Right. It's closer to the equator and it's a different climate. OK, and I do believe that the people there probably is going to be darker and it's another thing too that y'all got to understand mexicans can get real dark or so-called mexicans can get real dark i remember one time i was i was working at a place i would never forget it i was working at a place and it was this mexican there that was so dark i never seen a mexican so dark this mexican was so and he was mexican because it was it was this place i was working they was employing a lot of Mexicans that didn't speak English. You know how some of that, you know how that goes sometimes, right? They come over here to get jobs and things of that nature. This Mexican was so dark. I never seen a Mexican that dark. He was darker than the blackest African. I'm talking about this man was purple. This man was purple. This man was so dark. He was so black. This man was purple. I never seen a Mexican that dark. I'm talking about, I'm talking about he was crispy black. But he was Mexican. OK, he was crispy black, but he was Mexican. OK, crispy black, but he was Mexican, had the hair of a mix. But this man was I'm talking about this man was dark, like those really, really dark, um, you know, Indians. OK. And so, you know, I say all to say, man. You know, it's when you look at Africans and you look at the phenotype and you look at the hair and you look at the skin and you see that large group of people there on that continent, you can quickly and immediately see where those people come from because they're all there. When you go over China and you see that, you look at that phenotype, you can, and they all there, you can see where that comes from. All right. And so I hope that's common sense. I hope that makes sense. You know, um, you know, I know a lot of people, if they actually, they probably would never do it. But if they actually gave out reparations for slavery, I know a lot of people will shift. You know, I know some people out there who don't need no reparations. I know it's a lot of people out there who's who's doing well for themselves and don't need no handout and things of that nature. I understand that. But there's a lot of people who could use it. And they are following other people's thoughts and beliefs, right? And I know that you will switch soon as they say that they handing out some type of money for the injustices of slavery and taking a group of people, uh, stealing them, kidnapping them and taking them from this land and stripping them of their knowledge of their history and their culture and of everything that's uh, just stripping you of your birthright.
you know, I know that your mind is going to change. You understand? And this is why we have this problem because everything was taken away from us. So in a large about way, we don't know who we are. And I believe that the first thing that we need to acknowledge is that, you know, um, these Western religions, we know where they come from. We know that they come from us, but we know that they are repackaged and re and re and, and, and redid and redone for their liking. You know, you, it's time for us to try to get in tune with the things that are naturally of us, you know, and, and that is, you know, you know, getting to know the greatness of Africa and any other indigenous cultures, you know what I mean? But, you know, you know, I think that's where it starts at, you know what I mean? And understanding. And I think it's just common sense to see where people come from because it's large groups of people there. OK, even 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 if you're talking about my migrations here, yes, it's large groups of European Europeans in America. But what's the largest population in America? Who Who is the largest populations of people in America? Why don't, why don't we figure that out? Who's the largest population? And I'm talking about and I'm talking about all of I'm talking about the whole continent. I'm just not talking about the legal parameters of the United States. I'm talking about the whole continent. What's the largest groups of people? You understand what I'm saying? What's the large? We know that a lot of people was, you know, wiped off the face of the earth. We we understand and we know that. All right. We understand and we know that we, we, we know that a large. So but, you know, just look around the world, man. Just use common sense. You know, just just use common sense. You know, I think it's common sense that we came here and we lived among harmoniously um, with with a lot of these groups of people that was here because our cultures was very similar because for a long time we was already coming here anyways you understand what i'm saying but i'm gonna shut this down i don't want to be too long i got things that i need to do so y'all be easy man but use common sense out there man don't don't just believe something because somebody else believe it you know what i mean find your own truth do your own research you understand what i'm saying and use common sense i'm out